Ladies and gentlemen, we're back. It's post pay per view time. It's potentially revenge time. Teddy Long down there smiling, mocking us after what he did at the pay per view. But we're back. GM mode building up month two, and my voice just started to go right there. I uh, we're fighting through some shambles right now. I have a bone that is broken in my throat, but we're gonna handle it with maturity. And I trust you, the viewer, that you're you're not giggling like a little schoolgirl. It's totally fine because I got Cheek here with me. Yo. And I got Canada, who I'm gonna load him in because he gets the book first this week and show off his first Ooh. shakeup card that he got at the pay per view. And that shakeup card really shook things up, if you know what I mean. Mm. Uh, and totally to remind everybody, leading the pack, uh, we can we selected a. Nail superstar to gain 10 popular popularity whenever the superstar who shares that gender sh gain popularity is increased by 20 percent so that care that uh that uh, I, I to be honest i don't know if i picked the right person but i am happy to pick a male superstar that was definitely the right person and it was almost and we are we're pushing him he's getting a little push and i like that so almost sapien yeah, I'm, I'm crazy. Crazy. So, so let's get this let's get booking smackdown this week let's just jump right into it uh we only have two assets so i'm really hoping uh, do i upgrade something like the backstage crew do i get that upgraded do i upgrade do i upgrade anything else or do i save it for our next arena or possibly obviously our next pay-per-view i'm gonna save it i'm gonna save it for now Ooh. hold on to it so coming off the pay-per-view, we have, oh man, I forgot Veer is going absolutely crazy Veer with the title. The yeah, he's he's <laughs> he's really he's really doing it. He's really doing it. So we are going to sorry, I need to look at our make sure we have a scheduled run in on one of our champions this week. We'll get bad timing. Uh ooh, I like that. Ooh, I really like that. Hello. That's something I, that can be used I, for revenge. Yeah, revenge. revenge against I love revenge. Raw and... <laughs> yeah, yeah, Teddy Long. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Revenge, revenge. Yeah. Okay, so obviously we need a self promo. We're going to need a triple threat. And then I call out. Those are easy. Maybe an extreme rules. Probably not, actually, because we're going to get a triple threat. We want to do these three first. Let's get it. Let's get it. So, how about a triple threat main event? Speaking Damn. of triple threats, oh, he's busy. Uh -oh. Why he's busy? What? You probably sent him for like a, maybe he's who you, or no, you probably sent him to like a rehab thing. Yeah, a little rehab action. Okay, so it's not gonna be. We're gonna do it for the intercontinental title bell here. But speaking of triple what? threats, to give you guys just a little teaser here, I'm about to do it in the intro and I didn't, so I'm gonna say it now. After show one gets booked by all of us, we go through the show. We're going to start breaking down a fun little event we call bragging rights here. So for those of you that watch the 2K23 GM mode, you already know where that goes. But make sure, you know, as you're watching this video and enjoying our chaotic booking, that you have those ears perked up because after we're all done with show one, before we go into the next show here for week seven, we'll be giving you guys a little teaser of one of the special events that we'll be bringing uh, to our GM mode series, so stay tuned. Ooh. Oh, love that. Love that so much. <clears throat> I was going to put two giants together, even though you're not supposed to, but with the low stamina, I think I'm going to avoid that. And instead, oh. instead we're going to give, I thought it, I, I was going to go crazy with Piper there for a minute, but instead we're going to give Alexa <laughs> Bliss a little title match herself. Another one-on-one, -on -one. we are going to go... Dude. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Loomis and coffee. <laughs> we need coffee. Boom. Black coffee. Black coffee. Oh, 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 oh. Interference. Run in. Here it comes. Uh -huh. Liv Morgan getting attacked. That's fine. We can. We're not simulating. We're not watching. Sorry. And what's going to open our show to this week? This is a very important matchup, but this is very, very important. We are going to open up with... Oh, man. Ivar. 
versus Carmelo Hayes. <clears throat> That's feeling good. Self promos. Self promos for everyone. Should probably actually. No, we're not going to do this match. Sorry for anybody that wanted to see that match. I pulled the rug right under everyone's feet because we got 100% stamina. That can't go unnoticed. So how about we do this and we do another run in? It's just going to be a run in kind of week. That's just kind of what's going to have to happen. Piper's going to give herself a little self promo. We're going to have a call out. Kevin Owens is calling out Damian Priest, getting that ready for the next pay per view. And finally, we need some more money. So Tyler Bray, here he comes, advertising. Feeling it's kind of a light week. We're going to take a look at our cards here. <clears throat> Take a look at all that. That's pretty decent. Good talent. Select an opposing brand contract ball next week. Okay. Take a look at that. <laughs> you sometimes you just have to get no, through it. You know no, what I mean? I totally understand it. I just, oh, okay. It. <clears throat> yeah. Our show is costing thirty-three thousand dollars. We're keeping it low. Budget's not great. Um. Yeah. We're saving up our our assets here. We're getting our assets all in order. Here we go. Smackdown getting booked. Kind of a kind of a weak week, but sometimes you have to do it. What's new? Speaking of asses, here's WCW. <clears throat> okay. I don't understand that comment, but Triple H <laughs> texting us a little bit. He's going to give me a health spa card and wow. says it's too late for Mysterio. You'll have to wait until he's recovered, but try to make sure everyone else doesn't get hurt, you idiot. Yeah. Damn. So it gives me this out of pity. Hey, that's pretty good. And Cody Rhodes. Oh, his oh, father would be so you. thankful. Yeah, I was trying to send you a text too, Daddy, but I unfortunately I didn't have any <laughs> service, so I had to have my my son Cody Rhodes send you a text, even though he didn't win the championship. I'm still super proud of him. Cody Hollis, ladies and gentlemen, fighting through that broken bone in his throat. Mm -hmm. And Kira Tozawa says, "Hey, man." been putting the work in but uh i need to do more he was ready to run a main event match this would mean a lot for my career so i think we can do this for a week <clears throat> make him happy i think we can sneak something out oh, oh we're, okay. shaking up. We're, getting, we're shaking up all right, all right all right skirting the rules extreme matches are free but <sighs> participating Ooh. superstars lose more stamina triple h says mm -hmm. quit doing that so i don't know break a leg when superstars return from an injury they also gain 10 popularity dirty dom crazy. That, hard, yeah dirty dom too big to take down so if a giant wins a fatal four-way they gain forty thousand. so that little incentive oh, to do fatal great. four ways and to have giants involved i can That'd have four giants things. Depending yeah, like once you're a free agent, you could just like throw a yes. fatal four way Giants match in the mid card. Who gives a shit what it's rated? Just get 40k. I'm gonna cry. I, I think I want to do that. That's, I think I wanna have fun that's nuts. That's a good card. Because yeah. this one, I need player. I need people to get hurt, and I don't yeah, want to. That's not a good strategy. And then that one skirting it's the rules. Hurt I don't need people <laughs> losing stamina more than I already struggled with this. Even if you look in the playlist and go back to our last year's videos. Um, but anyways. Oh, good call out. So, yeah, too big playlist. to take down. Welcome to the show. Especially if you like the Attitude Era. <clears throat> Just mm -hmm. Raw is war. All right, so. I also have some dilemmas here. Ooh, yeah. Do yeah. I, do I want to add Concert Hall? I only have 182 thou, though. 182 thou. So, sadly, but I could add another little effect. Um, if I do the email campaign, I can, I don't know, that upgrades our show quality 8%. Is that what it said? Yeah. So basically For all like, of these would though, right? Yeah, yeah. So everything that's plus five would become a plus eight for level mm -hmm. two. So you basically be getting an extra 3% and then they each have like a little extra like perk thing to it as well. Okay. I think I'm going to save for now. But I do want to look at my roster. I do. Roman. Giants. I do want to see the Giants. All right. I got one 
giant, but I don't really want to use Braum Strowman for a bunch of shit. So Triton, this is his moment. And uh, that's about it. So got to bring in like three, three giant men. Okay. Um, so we need males. Oh, whoops, sorry. I'm at. Yeah, I forget. Uh, <laughs> all right, I just need some male giants. Male, big, and big men. And you got men. one in the search immediately too, so if you get a good Ooh. Boring, it'd be big. Little red, red monsoon. monsoon. <laughs> red baby. monsoon. All right, red monsoon. We are just gonna go get right after it, and the. The giant card that I got is for five weeks, so I think I'm gonna add Red Monsoon for five weeks. That's that is the strats. That's some strats. Olaf Ostrovsky. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Welcome aboard. And then Heath. So Heath is Man. a fighter. Oh no. So that Wait, is... just boost up the thing instead of rookies. Just a little yeah, so there. now you gotta decide. I don't Do you have one of those, like. Kind of power wow. cards where you get extra talent scouts. I forget if you have one of those or not. Because you're uh, down to maybe. two now. Or you could, would have to remove the gender and just hope you get males. Which right. is pretty possible. They hit the red, flame. red flame. Yes. And Ooh, John the, the Fish. Oh, 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 God. These are, these are throwbacks oh, to last man. year's last season. I mean, okay, he reeled so... me in with that one. I don't know how you don't sign him. He's more popular and more stamina, though. Than the yeah, both could have, I dude, yeah, I already, I agree. but I already you got have... Triton and the other guy, Red, yeah. Monsoon. But what if someone gets hurt now? You have, you know, you mm -hmm. have you have five giants that could, could why do I need five giants? Well, you I said you didn't put the face in the thing. What was, yeah. what was the fish? Uh, what was his special? What's his finisher? The hook, the it's hook, hook, yeah. hook, line, and stinker, yeah. <laughs> Red I mean, flame. think about it. This one match is going to pay for all these contracts. That's fair. Fine. There. All you right. could also, if you really no. want to get crazy, you could have a fatal four way <laughs> giant match, and then the other mid card be a fatal four way that includes a giant. And then if you get lucky, then it's 80,000. Mm. Is that a for sure thing? Can I just stack shows? Pull up the GM assistant thing. I, th I think it says, <laughs> I don't know if it says per match or per show. If a if giant win. wins a fatal four way match, yeah, game win. So I think wow. if you had, if you let's had try yeah. 16. Let's try it. <laughs> you have a fixed match? No, I do. Yes. Oh, you. Oh, my God. <laughs> so yeah, you can do a four way of all giants and then a four way with a giant, fix a match for the person, and pretty quickly 80. find out if that gets you 80. Do I have to wait till I schedule, or when can I? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, you I assign schedule. it to a wrestler, oh, and then gone. they automatically win the next match. Okay, let me get let me get booked here. Oh, this is. Oh, I'm excited for this we'll, match. We'll see. Like it could hurt us in the standings with cheek success here, but this is a fun card, so I'm excited. And I want Akira. To be... You know, this is a long season. We can we can root for each other at the beginning. I agree. Yeah, at the end, it's gonna start getting it's gonna start getting dicey, a lot of bloodshed. But right now, I want to see Cheek and his 37 giants take over the wrestling. <laughs> well, well, well. All right. So we got the tag with scripts. Oh yeah. yeah. Shout, out the, shout, out, shout out to the commentator who uh, named. Yeah, Rico. Uncle Rico. They That's are hard. they are back, ready to reclaim their belts, and Akira gets his main event. So we're gonna do this, and then we'll probably try to milk the rivalry until the pay per view, just to give all these guys some resty boys, but. Um, this will make Akira happy. So, now let's get to the why we came here. <laughs> get to the fatal four-way business. Um, I don't know if I want to use Braum Strowman, though. Look at that beef, dude. Red Flame, Olaf, John the Fish Herman, <laughs> and then Red. Well, no, we're going to save Red Von soon. For the next match, that's the one we're gonna fix. Oh shit! Ooh, he gets so we're gonna start. we're gonna get Gunther McGirder. The yeah, Gunther Gunther wins it. The no, Gunther. we're gonna fix the match. Oh, this is one getting fixed. Um, no, it doesn't make this sense. This one, sense. yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Shit. Hmm. Well, hold on. 
Braun Strowman will win the next one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Have yeah, one yeah. with all giants and then fix the other one. Look at that giant fatal that's four way. That's that's a lot of man in the ring. Hey, I wish this was a pay per view. Here's so. an incentive for the viewers right now. <laughs> If we have 600 subs on the channel, because we're flying, we're close to 500 at the time of the recording. If we have 600 subs on the channel before the pay-per-view, we will let WCW spectate an extra match so we mm. can watch his Fatal 4-Way Giants match on pay-per-view. Love Ooh. that. So if you just heard me say that and you're not subscribed, you hit it and we'll spectate that extra match. <laughs> How do, how do you pass that up? How do you pass that up? Like, do you not want look at those four guys? Like, do you really do you not, not want to see that? That's that's damn. That's oh, literally shit. the best. Oh, try my boy try and hold on. Oh, so many hold giants, on. so little time. Um there's so many giants. You could replace Miz since him and Strowman are on a cooldown. Then probably help the match rate. Oh, oh try it. Oh, that's coming across in a that's only a 50 50. <laughs> <laughs> that's only that's only a 50 50 though uh, unless you fix that one I, I gotta fix that one all right oh. let's get to some serious uh, <laughs> no this has all been serious i don't know what you're oh, I know. oh god <laughs> rhea ripsters do i have where can i view my belts uh uh i would say it's best Wait, uh, manage roster. Manage roster. Need to see all the pictures. Let's see. Where's my? I don't have a women's tag anymore, do I? No. Oh because, yeah. Because no. Quinn, Bia, yes. and Blair won, and then Bia went away. So. Yes. Yeah. I missed Queen B. Just saying. So in a turn She's of events. Since I don't want to do this because they're both faces. I wanted to pin them against each other since they were so good for so long, and then they finally lost. So. You'd have a couple ways you go. If you did want to do that, you could do like the match this week, have it in the middle. It won't rate as well, but then you could use like a promo next week to like turn somebody. That's or do fair. the promo this week and start rivalry off of that. If you want to do it that way. Yeah. You know what? Screw it. We're just going to do face face. Yeah. You have to sometimes. Yeah. That's not going to be a good match, but hopefully. Maybe a rivalry ensues, and then I can flip one to a heel. I mean, the fans are just going to be throwing money at this. Uh, That'll help your curve, though, too, like kind of burying that match in there, because it allows you to put Akira in the main event. That should be the best. Then you got your other four-way. Yeah, we got this. <laughs> um, hmm. Hmm. Let's... Spice this up. Let's do tables. Oh, well, we need thing. we need something to pop because this yeah. this mid card is gonna be ass cheeks. <laughs> um, a lot of ass cheeks. In the <laughs> Holy shit. All right, and then we gotta fix Bronny boy. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. All right, so we're gonna see if we can glitch it and get eighty thousand off. Ooh, yeah, we're time. cooking. All right, let's see, my champ. Roman Reigns, who should he call out? I feel like, I feel like we finished, we finished the Cody Rhodes story. My boy needs a new, needs a new muse. Man, Big Bad Braun. I don't know, but the giant bruiser doesn't really click. This, these are the dilemmas I have. Maybe he doesn't call someone out. Maybe we just do a little self promo for now. The Miz. Oh yeah. That makes sense. He's hot on the mic. Let's let him self promo. And then Oh gosh. The Rhea Ripsters. Um no, she only has thirty seven. I need to give her a week off. But who doesn't have thirty seven stamina as Blair Davenport? wonder again i just don't have a lot of fighting types that match up but she's a heel so i'm gonna have her call out i'm gonna have her call out indy hartwell just in case this match right here in the mid card doesn't spark anything so we'll see yeah, between one could get scene, wild should get could get wild so i think that's it this is gonna be 
oh, I accidentally got this. Do not put Roman okay. Reigns in a match. So that's going to give me a rehab card, which I need. That promise will be fulfilled. And I think, I think we have a show. And oh, I guess you could say ever. a big show. Do we ever? <laughs> and it only, it only cost me 14000 Oh my Let's god, go. you're, you're gonna make so much fucking money. <laughs> All, right. All right, let's see. I'm gonna talk to Andre Chase first. He wants some matches, and I think that's an easy one to do. So, we had a random superstar get lost. We lost our tag feed the pay per view, but it's okay. We're gonna build it out here. We'll have them fight tonight for the tag title, so I think that works out decent for us. And then Nikki, I think you should put me in a match with Chelsea. I have literally had Nikki Cross fight nobody but Chelsea uh, since the start. Um, so, okay. so I'm going to do it to boost morale, but that will get destroyed in the mid card because that rivalry, I believe, finished and is on cooldown. But now it's shot oh. time. All right, we got Pick overtime. Oh. Specialist superstars lose more stamina, but increase the popularity of all superstars in the match they are in okay. by five. So if I, oh, I can't, ah, the little things. Oh. I was about to say, can I view the roster from here? So specialist wise, I've got Ludwig Kaiser, Kit Wilson, Elton Prince, Andre Chase. So my tag feud has it and then Ludwig Kaiser has it. So could do a little bit of help there. 20% uh, less cost on matches, but more stamina. I prefer the specialist one and then the one That's Canada one got, yeah. yeah. Select a female or male to gain 10 popularity whenever the superstar who shares their gender get popular. I think I'm gonna, I'm just gonna copy paste. I, I think yeah. it's a copy pasta. Um, just cause I, I, I don't mind the specialist one, but this one I feel like benefits more people. So yeah. I, I feel like it's definitely the one to go. I'm kind of just looking, figuring out who I want to throw the boost to. And I'm thinking, I'm Who's thinking maybe that? we throw it at Logan Paul because with ECW we got the plus twenty on the champ since we don't have women's titles. So Logan took a pretty big hit after losing his belt. So I think we're gonna give it to Logan. Boost the boys. Boost the boys. Here we go. Most popular cruiser for the talent scout. I think that's Sammy, which is fine. He probably needs a week off anyway. So that's cool. Take a peek here. Some promises will get there. GM interference, I gotta just be mindful to do that. Tables matches will get. This is interesting. So this is, I meant to check this on the pay-per-view and I forgot. Um, I've had, I had a couple comments confirming as well that what you need to do for this is a singles, a tag, a fatal four way and a triple threat. We did that on a previous show and it didn't trigger this. So now I'm wondering if it is like match stipulations. So I'm kind of accepting, which sucks it gets it to the moon card. I'm accepting that this one might be really impossible for me to get. I only need five for the trophy, but definitely tough scene. Um, okay, tag matches. We got to kind of rally up here because we're behind pace on those a little bit and then logistics so we we also do not have a ton of money um we did not get the boosted pay-per-view but i'm thinking about grabbing fog effects to get the steel cage match because i can use that to end feuds if i need to transition stuff around which i might look to utilize so i think i'm gonna i'm tempted by that but i think i'm gonna book out here kind of see where we land so first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go triple threat there we go just had to turn my brain on for a second so i'm gonna do this so you can see rather on cooldown for these two but i'm gonna hope that if i throw bianca belair in there it'll help a little bit um on our rivalry front we've got Bianca and Dakota Kai level three, so that's good. Andre Chase, Kit Wilson, and a singles feud. But we've got a lot of, whoops, a lot of level three stuff here. Uh, and with level three feuds, we're in a good spot. Get them to level four for the next pay-per-view. We'll have plenty of stuff to blow off, but 
if we get them to level four too fast, um, they're gonna be kind of stuck in no man's land trying to make sure I don't make it stale. So gotta kind of dance around a little bit. We are gonna go main event is gonna be a tables match for the tag titles. Spoiler. So a little Chase U. Andre Chase wants to fight this week. This is one of our bigger rivalries. <clears throat> Honestly, I hope it stays level three if I get a pick, but if it goes level four, that's fine. Um, and then Sammy's getting the week off. Let's do well, Dakota cut a promo. I'm gonna try to level her up. She's getting closer to level 10. Um, let's do there we go. Sean Biggie in the opener. And then I'm gonna go Ludwig Kaiser versus Logan Paul. Here in the mid card, I'm not gonna do any run-ins or anything since I was already level three, and then we'll give Sammy his time off. Dude Love is an upset man. So I'm gonna have him raise money for charity because nothing makes you feel better than helping the kids. And then <laughs> And then I think we'll have Nathan Frazier. Rock a self promo this week. We'll give Gunther and Sami Zayn the week off. Um, Sammy, I need to figure out who I want to pair him up with. It might be a new signing, but I don't want to make that signing this week. So I think I'm gonna wait to do that. I could also insert Sammy into like a triple threat with like Shawn Michaels and Dude Love for the world title. So there's some different paths I can take, but I am thinking of that in the back of my mind. Uh, but I don't want to use Talent Scouts potentially not move uh, power cards. I'm going to grab a health spot on a fixed match. Mm. And then I'm going to use this health spot on Sammy right away. One of my goals is to spend money on power cards. I haven't really done that, which is not like me. I, I like stocking up my power cards. Power cards. Power. I think we'll leave it there. I'm not going to do the upgrade yet. Whatever week I want to do a steel cage <coughs> blow off is probably when I'll grab the mm -hmm. fog effects. Otherwise, I'll probably hang tight for a few weeks until we get to like pay per view. Just make sure Foggy. I can get that benefit. And yeah, I think we're. Let's go. Do not book your most popular recruit. Was that not Sammy oh. Zane? Am I drunk? No, but you do have a broken bone in your throat oh maybe because i use <laughs> true maybe because what? i use health spa it doesn't oh yeah i use health spots so now someone else is the most popular cruiser the hell is it nathan frazier okay well you're not talking anymore. you lose the right to your voice go through you lose the right <laughs> to your voice. you just you're like one you. to talk yeah right yeah bitch. nathan frazier i now cast you with <laughs> Broken, broken no. trachea as well. Okay. Now we're done. I gotta remember that for the future though. That <laughs> using the card took that way. Let's make sure. I guess Nikki gets her match with the person she's fought 37 times. We're good to go. Send it in. We can go SmackDown. Let's get it. And over to SmackDown. We. Oh man, I should really should open with the woman's title. What am I thinking? But guess what? Apollo Cruz is taking on Ivar. We're simulating this match. We're running in. We have actually two running in against superstars. Yeah, mediocre. We knew that. The Pipesters gets up to popularity. Look at her. Liv Morgan, Alexa Bliss, run in Valhalla. I totally forgot they already had a feud. So hopefully it doesn't start one because that's gonna be stale as fuck. Hey, F boy. Ooh. Okay, Alexa Bliss, new champion. Good. Good didn't start a thing. We didn't want to. Uh, Kevin Owens calls out the bisexual Undertaker, says, I don't like your vest. It's way too uh, flamboyant. And he says, well, I like my vest. So the rivalry grows. I picture him like flipping his hair back as he says that. Hmm. I like my vest. I like my vest. Dexter Loomis versus Joe Coffey. They have a little bit of a rivalry going. Hopefully it grows just like my love for Cody every day. 
Oh, well, at least your love's growing. Someone Boom. Has it, yeah. Okay, here we go. That's that's growing. Uh, Tyler Bray loses some popularity. I guess it's eight thousand dollars. That's basically like almost that fatal four way mountain match. Yeah, over it's like one tap where Cheek's gonna get. Yeah, Hello. not bad. Uh, let's see if Veer can hold on to his title belt. Hopefully, he kind of loses it. Maybe I should use the fixed match. Uh, in a perfect world, it's going to go over to Omos, so I can start a Seth freaking Rollins versus Omos a feud, please. Or a Seth Rollins. If it goes to Seth Rollins, I won't be mad either. But here we go. Please. Oh, man. Or Veer, Veer. Veer! Oh, no! Veer, Veer. Can't stop. Can't stop. Great stop. Match, though. Oh, they're unstoppable. They really are. All right. We're not stopping here on the WCW in one of the beefiest matches of the night. Braun Strowman, Triton, got the McGurder. Shinsuke, Shinsuke scared for his little bitty life in the tables match. Oh, poor man it's gets like traded. Me back. I wonder who's going to win. Why did make you take me back to Raw? Braun Strowman. Yeah, I wonder. How did he win? the world. Ooh, Ooh McGurder. McGurder. Wow. I like Beef. that. That's one, like that. one of our biggest beefs. Yep. And Roman Reigns says, like me, and one person did. <laughs> one, okay. All right. Now. Here it oh is. Oh. Potentially the most weight ever recorded in the ring at one time. <laughs> this is like a newbies. TLC reality show. Mm. Mm. My 800 pound girlfriend. All right, here we go. <laughs> Who's gonna. Oh! oh. oh. Awful! Double rivalry oh. pop though. Oh my gosh! That's we so might have funny. to keep the fatal four ways all the time. The Miz says, "Yeah, we like the beefy fatal four ways," and everyone's mm -hmm. like, "Hell yeah, brother!" Oh yeah, brother! And in another match, the fans will boo. Zoe Stark, mm -hmm. Indy Hartwell, the tag team Dynamos pinned against one another, and. All right, Zoe wins, but oh, uh, and no rivalry. So hopefully the call works. Blair Davenport Dang. gets the rivalry started because she said, "Yo, Indy, yo, match sucks," and then that pissed her off. So now there's a rivalry. So let's go. And Uncle Rico trying to win back Uncle their Rico. tag titles. Can Shut they do it? And I have it here. Shout out to when I pulled it up, Kevin Cooney for that for that oh, name. Yeah. The Coonster. Coon Dog. Thank you for that. And Akira wanted this main event. Does he squander this moment? No, he doesn't. Oh, no. All right. And the is rivalry tension, grows. Is tension growing between Uncle Rico? Oh, there's something growing, all right. Hmm. We head over to AI no, Raw. Not. Hopefully, nothing grows for these guys. <laughs> if this is somehow your first episode, Teddy Long uses just a minute play a card against at the pay per view. <laughs> we got some sour grapes right now. Mm. And it's kicking off. Natalia against Tippy. <sighs> Tippy time. Teddy Long. Tippy Stratton gets the win. All oh, four stars. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Self promo. Paragon J Pierce from My Rise fame. Plus two pop for an okay promo than Nikita Lyons. She would fit in the ring with those giants just on her ass alone, but it ain't enough to beat Asuka. <laughs> Two and a half stars. Josh Briggs comes out and says, where's my partner? Where's our truth? And one person said, I don't know. And that's his new fan. EO Sky taking on Charlotte Flair, continuing their rivalry. And EO Sky gets the victory in a three star match. And then the Usos. Damon Uso and Jimmy Uso call out Josh Briggs and R-Truth, who still doesn't come out to the ring. We'll find him eventually. Rivalry goes to level three. And in the main event, tables match. For some reason, they didn't do this at the pay-per-view. Julius Creed against Finn Balor for the world title. Finn Balor wins the belt back in a four-and-a-half star classic. Screw mm -hmm. you, screw you, bro. Then we head over to EC Dunk. EC Dunk. Ooh. <laughs> of our pay-per-view here. We got a new television champion, Big E. Non-title action against Shawn Michaels here. Shawn Michaels gets the win. Trying to put a claim out there in a three-star match. Dakota Kai, a little training, gets seven ring XP. We're close to getting her to level nine, I think. Level 10 will be her next perk, so gradually building that up. Nikki. Nikki wanted to fight Chelsea Green. She said, I think it'd be a really cool idea if you let me fight Chelsea Green. 
the person that she's fought four times uh, in the first five weeks of this mm. season. Um, she said, I think the fans really like it. I put Bianca in there because I just felt potentially the fans wouldn't love it, but Nikki gets the win in a two-star match. Dude Love is upset. So I said, hey, go out there and help the kids. And he said, fuck them kids. We only got 3750 fans for it. You truly hate to see it from the dude, sir. We'll get his morale back up. Logan Paul coming Ooh. off of losing his television championship. Heel heel match here with Ludwig Kaiser. Uh, expect a low rating here due to the heel heel, but trying to balance things out, get some of the stamina back in order. So sometimes you you know toss a match like this to manipulate your curve. One half stars, Logan Paul gets the victory. Gunther cuts a promo. He was actually gonna get the night off, and then I, you know, had a miscalculation. So I found him backstage. I grabbed him and told him to go to the ring and cut a chrome. He slapped me across the chest. I'm now laying on the ground in misery, and Gunther got two fans hmm. because of it. And in the main event, tables match here. <clears throat> Chase U defending against Pretty Deadly. Trying to help us out. This is a level three feud. Does Ooh. it go to level four? It does. In a three and a half star match, Pretty Deadly, your new tag champs. So my show, we just went through. Uh, so real quick, just to show, we did have some questions on this as well. So if you guys ever are curious, if you look at the screen here, uh, you can see the different stars that make up the match quality. Um, so we do pull these up as a way to just kind of show, for not only for us, but if people are curious why I match rate a certain way, uh, you can see the different build up to what does that. It's so like the rules were in a good place for this match, so you get five stars there, but performance was one and a half, so the ladies didn't bring it enough. Um, but well, pretty lady. good show overall. I think they've changed some of this UI a little bit. I don't think the XP level was by the name before in this screen. But maybe I'm maybe I'm losing my mind. But the other yeah. shows that we had, we'll quickly run those down so we didn't just simulate those. We'll have Apollo Cruz two stars over Ivar with Carmelo Hayes running. Alexa Bliss gets the women's title off Liv Morgan. Valhalla runs in three stars. Dexter Loomis. Rivalry up to level three with Joe Coffee in a three-star match. Uh, Veer Mahan refuses to lose the Intercontinental title uh, in a three-and-a-half-star match with Seth Rollins and Omos. And then Kevin Owens made fun of Damian Priest Vest there at level three. Then mm -hmm. WCW, Giant Palooza, Let's McGurder, go. and Nakamura have a rivalry as Braun Strowman wins the Fatal 4-Way. <laughs> the Fatal 4-Way with all the Giants kicks off two new rivalries. I really like that UI of how they display the rivalry there now rather than just yes. the text. I really yeah. like that. <clears throat> um, Olaf Ostrowski gets that win. Zoe Stark defeats her old partner, Andy Hartwell, as they try to determine whose fault it was uh, <laughs> that they lost the tag titles. And then, unfortunately, Uncle Rico comes up short trying to get the tag titles back. We'll have to see down the road what they can do. And then Blair Davenport kicks off rivalry with Andy Hartwell. And then finally, four AI Raw, four stars for Natalia falling to Tiffany Stratton for the women's title. Asuka Two and a half stars over Nikita Lyons. Three stars for EO Sky over Charlotte Flair. And in the main event, Finn Balor becomes your world champion over Julius Creed in a four and a half star match. <coughs> so over to SmackDown here. 39,000 fans. $62,000. Not bad. Oh, WCW yeah, here we go. WCW. So 28,000 fans, 29,000 fans. Whoa, yeah, and you did baby. get 80. Uh, if you look at that other revenue bonus, a little above his total profit. Uh, so if, if Cheek had four bad. Fatal Fours and Giants won all four of them, he would get $160,000. That <laughs> That's going to be big for this, this set of booking. Wow. So $137,000 for Cheek and WCW. Over on Raw, they grabbed 50,000 fans. They had a really good mm. show. Coming off pay per view, $59,000 for them. And then finally, ECW, I'm told pretty deadly, building up their chemistry. 44,000 fans for me, $48,000 in the bank. Bad timing for SmackDown, producing contract for somebody by a mm -hmm. week. Injury rehab for WCW. Yay. Let's see if it's used on Dom or saved for another time. Screw Dom. I know a guy. I said I might need to make some signings here soon to get someone new for Sami Zayn. That would give me some extra talent scouts to perform some searches. And there are the standings to get ahead in the next week. So Teddy Long up 29,000 right now is a big week for Teddy. Um, and then WCW 35,000 behind me. Smackdown 7,000 behind WCW. 
Let's get into the next week in D -D -D Detroit. All right. Triple H texted me probably about how many fat asses I had in the ring. Mm -hmm. uh, new physical trainer on staff, he said. Uh, cutting edge stuff. He wants to loan him to my brand to help some of my superstars oh my recharge. He is really riding my ass about stamina. They will have to sit <laughs> out a show. He, wa he watched the 2K23 Ruthless Aggression GM mode. He's just trying to help Yeah, he's like, this guy sucks. So if I have um, have him train Shinsuke and Cody Rhodes for 30000 but they have to sit out a show, and you can lend him to train just one of those two for free. So I'm going to have both of them rest up. So I'm going to do solid deal. My superstars are beat and take both. So there, there's 30 thou gone out of the budget. Mm. But I feel like it'll be worth it. All right. So here's Braun. What happened to book, booking Gunther and me oh, as a tag team? Oh, team. shit. Gretzky. No, we are, we are so invested in the fatal four ways. I know that. that yeah, that's a fair mistake. Oh, and he wants Ricochet. Trust Ooh. me on this. Okay. Shit. Got three weeks to do it. Fine. I'll just keep his big ass happy. Just don't get distracted by giants and forget. I have no promises. So <laughs> have your most popular female fight each other okay sounds good and we'll get a special promotion all right so first things first i do want to go here while i have the money and we're gonna purchase the wrestling center as our new Ooh, backstage brawls unlocked with that as well hell yeah we're working our way up folks hell yeah brody all right i don't really have any more money now i only have forty thousand. Oh, there is a fixed match, though. I could buy that and still net. <laughs> That's, I mean, those cool. are going to be clutch for you this month. So <laughs> I'm going to do that. And then we're going to go right back to the well. We're going to go right back. Fatal four way. Don't care. Try it and get your big ass in the ring. Red flame. Uh. Olaf, let's see if he can do it again. I wish I had a belt to give these dudes. <laughs> um, just let him quabble over it. Um, who just else? Release Dirty Dom and have him fight for the US. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm thinking about it. All right. So there's the giant. That's one. And then we need another Fatal Four Way. And I need at least one giant to be in this. So, and he wants to fight Ricochet. His ass is in there now. Roman does, yeah. Oh, Roman does shit. Yeah. You I could still, I mean, wrong. you could put Roman in this match, but Roman's the one that wants um, to sure. Yeah, you know what? Let's put Roman in there. Screw it. And then Fish Herman just for funsies. All right, so... Oh, that'd be sauce, but no. All right. And then I need to use the power card again to make sure... Brawny boy wins. Okay, so I just got 80,000 again, guaranteed. And then what's. Okay. That's now I need to have the most. Uh, let's see. Most popular face. So there we go. This will be for the women's match, even though. Indy Hartwell is in a different rivalry, so maybe I'll do a triple threat. And we will include Blair Davenport. And Cheek, you set me up with the triple threat, so while you finish this up, I will say yes. we talked about our bragging rights special. Uh, so for GM mode, we, we love the GM mode last year. We're loving it even more this year. But we do get bummed that we don't really get the opportunity to face each other in terms of like having matches so if you guys are an older gamer svr 06 07 you'd have special events uh so we do a few special events ourselves uh we'll do a royal rumble later on in the year we'll do these once per season but we will be having a bragging rights special uh think about it as kind of like those couple years where survivor series nxt they do all the triple threat matches that's essentially what's gonna happen we'll have our champions facing each other 
We'll have some hand selected superstars facing each other. We'll be earning points throughout the night. And at the end of the night, whoever has the most points will get the opportunity to either steal a superstar or steal Ooh. a lot of money from whoever finishes in last. So that event is going to come after uh, pay-per-view two. It'll be after show 10. It'll be a standalone video. And I promise you the intensity is going to be super, super high on that. Yo, you do not want to miss that. It's nuts. Especially, I feel like the stakes are bigger this year now, too, since we can use the trade to, like, you're just going to get a take who, you know, someone really good from the other <laughs> show. That's fair. That's fair. I'm going to do a class change. Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> All right, we'll just do advertising. Just do advertising. Um, let's have scripts do a little self promo for us. And Uncle Howdy on the mic. Self promo. So not a crazy show here for us, but we're just trying to get by. And then just getting by. also for my Wait, where's all my trophies? Or where do I go back to home if I think it's empty you are. Then, oh, see. Okay, okay. 15 shows with the title match. Been 250,000 or more on promos. I guess we'll get there. Okay, 50 talent scouts. I need to keep working on that. <clears throat> and. Man, okay. And spend. Use cards on other brands, so. Use cards on Raw. Well, let me use up some scouty boys. Um, I don't. Actually, I'm going to save it for this week because I don't have any money to sign anybody anyway. I don't want to throw anything away. But I do want to see if I can use... I'm going to save that. That's not very good. So I think the prosing... You guys all have tier one crew, so I can't even use that. Select any opposing brand to start next week with zero. Pocket stack. in. <laughs> pocket, pocket in, baby. <laughs> uh, man. Like, two bit uh, in the back alley too, just because I made that mistake on stream. Those can't be used before a pay per view as well, so that'll be just kind of like a. Whenever you do go about using those, it'll be just kind of a random week. Okay. Well. So, I will say for the ring XP, so like, thirty took someone in stream from basically like level five to level ten, so fifteen. Um, like mm -hmm. looking at like Braun, I think like fifteen would probably put him at like level like twelve. Oh, nice. And then every five levels is when you'll get a new perk upgrade. Man, this is tough. I'm perky right now. <laughs> I wish we were live right now. I could ask the audience. I guess it probably does make sense to get either Braun or Shinsuke upgraded. I'm going to do Braun, I think. Let's see where that yeah, gets. Okay, to okay up to 12. Cool. Cool. I dig it. Um, all your superstars immediately recover 15 stamina. That's tempting, um, but we're gonna lay we're gonna lay low for a week. So that's our show. Cost us five thousand. We're gonna have a big return again. So let's go. And we upgraded our arena. Get over to EC Dub. <laughs> Triple H noticed I wasn't doing something. Hopefully, he gives me something nice. I've been using call out promos. Ooh, imagine. Wow. Give me a card to help me, please, Hunter. Oh, let's go. I'm not happy losing my strap last week as a former champion. I've been acting my rematch cause one championship rematch. Nobody else. That's fine. We're just going to continue boosting Hunter Chase's morale. This one I don't have to do this week. I just have to make sure that the next time tag titles are on the line, uh, Chase was in it, which is already the plan. And Sammy Zen says, I'm a master on the mic and wants to do a promo. Sammy, that sounds fan freaking tastic. Promo it up, big guy. All right, so we've got what Cheek had, but male instead of female for network special. So doing that. Wow, just getting gifted easy ass. It's going to be Sammy. Old. Oh, I got so lucky. Oh, man. I would have broken the promise for that power card, but it means I just have to have Biggie and Shawn Michaels in the same match. 
I'm gonna just I'm just gonna throw that on the card now so I don't forget. And then bounce around look at other stuff. Just um, auto book. <laughs> so <clears throat> Sami Zayn promo. So what I'm thinking here is potentially bringing somebody in so basically just the way the rivalries ended up going on first pay-per-view we had a lot of stuff that's sitting level three i don't want to just end those right now um so my thinking is bring in somebody uh for a little run with sammy and then just probably let them go at the end of it there's also a power card i always forget the name of it i have not seen it for any of us this year yet um there is a power card where you can turn any temporary contract into a permanent one. And I keep wanting it and I'm not getting it. But my thinking there too is if, if it ends up being a talent that I want to do something with, you know, I could hold and see if maybe I get that card. Otherwise let them walk. So I'm not continuing to pay it, but we're going to go ahead. We're going to go to level 10 to 14 for this little Sammy feud. We want a male superstar and we want a heel. And you know what? Let's just grab a giant. Let's make it someone that works with this class. Search it up. Hopefully we get somebody. We do. So Die Jack. Die Jack. Is going to be coming to ECW for four weeks. That will get him through the pay-per-view. And he's coming to fight Sami Zayn. So since Triple H yelled at me in front of my friends, we're going to use this thing called a call-out promo. But apparently oh. I have not been using. So Sami Zayn's going to call out that Jack. Then we're going to try to go for the double down right away. That way we can hopefully have this be a feud that blows off at the first pay-per-view. Fingers crossed. Um, okay. So that takes care of Sammy. Um, tables matches. TLC matches there too. I'm going to knock out the tables first. And tags. So let's go ahead gonna throw the ladies in a little tag team action we're gonna do a little funkadelic though we're gonna have we're gonna have nikki and chelsea team up against bianca and dakota even though bianca and dakota are in the rivalry just to sauce it up we'll put that in the middle um we're gonna go we're gonna go i think this is gonna second i think we're gonna go andre chase and kit wilson here um and hopefully be able to continue their feud and then we'll go for tables on that and see what we can make happen i'm hoping that allows us to open there and then Go ahead and see if we can get this to pop to level four with Ludwig Kaiser and Nathan Frazier. And then we will do Biggie, Shawn Michaels. I'm just going to toss in. Oops. I'm going to toss in the third body. I'm going to make it another tables match to get progress on that. And we're going to have Logan Paul's a little better on the stamina, so we'll do this. And then We'll have Dude Love advertise for us. And I think that'll be a pretty decent little decent little gig for us here. Put us in position to uh, have ourselves a, you know, nice little show. Nice little show. Nothing too crazy. Not going to make uh, Big E put the title on the line here. I'm hoping that this rivalry works. I'm hoping oh, that yeah. these two kind of vibe. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. Looks good. And then we'll hopefully double pop here on that promo. So we're going to send it in. Let's do it. Hope for the best. Oh, no. I'm falling oh. off. What down? What's the <laughs> Oh, what are we getting? I'm giving you a homecoming power card. We'll make uh, any That's the, the card I was just talking about. I need it. I needed it. I needed it. Needed it. Needed so, it. What? You could literally. If you didn't want to use it on somebody on your roster, 
you could sign somebody to a one week contract this week and then put that card uh, on them and you have them the rest of the year. That's, that's a huge crazy. Card. That's crazy. How huge. <laughs> That is really big. It's huge. It's going to cause my throat to break. All right. We're going to give Veer a week off at the Hell Spa. Ooh. Bang. Even though he has two title belts. we got to give him the day. we got to give him the uh, Dexter's been handing me nothing but losses. Uh, we can. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. We can do that for sure. But you know what you didn't say? You didn't say you can't run in to your match. And I swear to God, I thought you were going to be like, you didn't say please. And then you weren't going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't say please. Oh, man. Uh, okay. 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 Really going to more show, stream rules. Advertising promo, I gotta get those going actually. And GM interferences, I should probably also get those going. Okay. So we have three assets. I thought we had like five last week. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just losing it. Probably. I'm going. That is true. Thank you, Triple H. Triple H. Um, you know, network deal payout, unlocks tornado tags, get personal. But, you know, I'm a big advertising guy, so I think we're going to go ahead and take. Ooh, you're just going to spam thing. all your fans to death. Yeah. Oh, we got a fixed match. I'm going to go ahead and grab that real quick. I'm going to grab Hell Spa 2. There we go. Use some cards on ECW. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Wow. How did you read my mind? You read my mind. Uh, one week, uh, good talent. Probably should have done that, but we'll wait. Network special, advertising. No, we'll have to save that. Oh, no. We're gonna do that random contract oh, for ECW's oh, getting. Oh no, such bad timing. Such bad timing on oh, no. Okay, and you know what? We are actually going to use a get schooled as well. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and use it on our newest superstar here. Ooh. Get him up there. Get him up a rank. Level 12. We'd like to see it. Let's let's start booking a show now. Now that we feel good, let's start booking a show. Auto book. Auto book. You. Oh. <gasps> Okay, well, it doesn't look bad, but that's not what we're doing. Oh, I'm not joking. Oh, oh, yeah. Somebody new. yeah, exactly. So we got to clear this. Oh, I didn't have to clear this. He didn't say please. That is very true. The Coffinator is a uh, heel, so we are going to put him up against Chad Gable, who has done absolutely nothing since joining the show. We're going to have a Dude, little run. Gotta under stamina. I got to say, I know, I'll, I'll, I'll have, have to look. look at rosters, but you know, pending what happens these next few weeks, I would be interested potentially in a Chad Gable tree. Okay. Uh, Canada, I also would be interested in. That. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting how that happened. He's become the most popular superstar on the <laughs> roster. He's like, you know what? He's untouchable. <laughs> um, no, we are not going to do this. It is a tables match. We need a triple threat somewhere. I think we're going to do the ladies. <laughs> And might as well kill two birds at once, get two birds stoned at once. Make it a triple threat. Two giants, a cruiser. Kind of get something going there. Piper Nevin being one of my fatal four ways. Actually, I think I'm going to take out a mean series and put in Liv Morgan. She kind of deserves a rematch, but actually, she's going to get it later. She's going to get a rematch later. I've decided it. It is not... It is not going to be a title match. Oh, that was hard. Do a little GM interference. Mm, just kidding. It has to be a normal match type. I was, just I was just joking. Imagine. It's Josh. We're going to... Oh, wait. Do they, have a, do they have a little thing going? They do. A little thing? Ah, like... Eh? They like, eh? like each other? Or do they just eh? like each other? Uh, yes, no, maybe. Goal. Hold on. Oh, it's going to do the running. I got to do the running. And you know what? I just said it. You oh. just said it has to be normal. Oh. Wait, I forget. So when you run in, are we... GM interference is who you support. Okay, we're supporting our new boy. He's... Allied to Omos. They actually put wording there, too. That's <laughs> oh, very nice. <laughs> I think they probably realized that that was kind of confusing to people, because run-ins, you're hurting. Right. Person. Right. Target. Okay, there's the... 
Okay. We're be our mid uh, card. We got to run in here too. We're not gonna make this a title match if this is a title match. I don't know if we know Kevin Owens. Can I look at him for a hot minute? How do I look at this thing again? Um, um, it's like right. There it is. Uh, we do special guest referee. Wait. Referee. 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 He's using his wait. So he, does he have to be the special guest referee? I think or? it's just if if he was in the match in any capacity, it would get okay. a boost. Uh, can you use class swap between Bruiser and Giant? So Kevin Owens can be a Giant in the future. That's really good to know. I will say that's gonna get nuts when we start unlocking more of the logistics and like oh, start yeah. to see the new match types kick in. Like ambulance I matches, would... the you get like a oh, bunch of fans and stuff, but the losers injured for like three weeks. What is is it the next thing that we get to know what their specialty is? Because I would love to know uh, what. So level twenty will be a second match type, and if it's like so, oh, I've never unlocked level twenty's perk. Okay. But uh, the ones I have unlocked, you get two options to pick from. Okay, here's we gotta we gotta add some stipulations into this because it's not a title match. If Kevin Owens wins this match, he gets to choose a special guest referee for the pay per view. If he loses it, uh, the bisexual Undertaker gets to choose whatever <laughs> match he wants. Um, it looks like he's good against tables matches, so this is just gonna be a normal match. Uh, we're gonna keep it normal. And there we go. We're going to book some selfie promos. Uh, Ivar's pretty popular. Seth freaking Rollins is having another week out, and so is Tyler Bright. I actually feel bad. I'm going to change this. Okay. Can you still run in on a Fatal 4-Way or no? Yes. Yep. Damn. Perfect, because we want to add in Tyler Bright and Seth freaking Rollins. Seth freaking Rollins kind of had something going, too. My bad. Uh, what did he have? No, he didn't. I thought he didn't. But maybe he'll. Maybe something. I think you were right. gonna have him and Omos if Omos won. Then Beer yeah, won. But they have a, and Omos yeah. already had a thing with Apollo. With Apollo Cruz. So you know what? We'll just have to. We'll have to wait. That's on pause. The Intercontinental Championship is on pause, and I just realized we do not even have a single championship on the line this week. We're going to go with it. We're just going to have to rock with it. Rick Williams. self promoing We have a call out. Mm, we're going to do a tag call out. Which I don't think I can actually do. Never mind. My bad. You can remove Trick from the first one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tricksters. It's this way. Carmelo, they're going to call him out and say, hey, listen, you got the tag titles, you got the Intercontinental titles, you're holding on to too many damn titles, and you're at the spa this week. What the hell is going on? They're not happy. Valhalla, no, she kind of needs a whole week off. Everybody here kind of does. That'd be a good Self thing for Beer Mahan what and mean? Ivar having like a spa day together. Spa day! So we are going to look for a renowned and remember, superstar. remember, whoever you're, before yes, you search, sir. before you search, just in case. Nice Whoever yeah. you sign here, you could have them all year. So if you're comfortable spending the money for a legend, that's kind of what I was going to say is you can sign them one week and then make their contract. Like, oh my God, wait. wait, it's a hundred thousand dollar search. I'm not doing that. Even a fifty thousand dollars. I kind of want to do it, uh, but that's really going to fuck my life up and I won't really be able to sign them probably. So we're going to look for a legend. We're just going to look for a legend. It's going to cost 50,000. It's going to hurt. But like you said, we can keep them forever. Oh, oh, shit. Here we go. Oh, shit. Here that's we go. stacked. Chuck McWagon's okay. on there. Like, oh, how do you not? How do you not take Chuck McWagon? How do you not? All right. It, wow. looks, it looks like Hulk Hogan is going to be the way to go here. As, as much as I love Stone Cold, Hulk Hogan, it's just it's just a better value. One hundred and thirty thousand for right. five weeks. Change that to thirty oh seven thousand. Get him the rest of the year. And the oh, Hulk wow. has joined SmackDown. For we get our power card. We. Okay, so he goes away for two weeks, but then you have. Well, we need to do it. We need to do it. We need to do it. He's that's joining smart. the. He's joining, but he's gonna have two weeks off, wow. which means. Chuck McWagon. No, we'll find somebody else to 
I'm not. I can't waste the money. I only have forty-one thousand. As much as I'd love, oh, we can't even book the show. We can't even book the show. Oh man, that's okay. Because I don't know why this is a TLC match. I was gonna there ask that go. earlier, but I was like, maybe he's. I, I wanted to let you cook. Maybe I was cooking. <laughs> uh, Ivar's just gonna scream into the mic for a little bit. Let's just let's let that happen. Um, I just want to make sure I have everything here. I thought I did this. What's a new rank, technically? Oh, wait, what's, yeah. Three superstars to a, new... to a new rank. I thought doing the almost thing would have got there because he went to level 12. Anyways. Maybe it's like promo. the actual tier unlocks, maybe? Got you, got you. Call up promo did that. Uh, we have an extreme rules match. We're going to renew the contract. And we have a GM interference. This is our show. This is our show this week. We're done. Uh, we do not book your post most popular specialists. Select the opposing brand, double the price of their power cards. Although I do love Cody. Uh, no, Cody loves power card. I do love Cody. So you I'm be. I'm gonna I'm just gonna not do the commissioner's goal this week. It's not that great of a card. It just screws over Cody, and our show is already tight as it is. Um, Dexter Loomis is not fighting in this match. So there you go, Coffinator. And SmackDown is uh, saucy. Chaotic week this week. Whew, alright. So Fatal Four Way, Braun Strowman, Ricochet, Roman Reigns, and John the Fish Herman. I wonder who will win. I wonder if Braun Strowman favored again, shocker. But Strowman and Roman Reigns and a rivalry. Strowman and Roman. Rose. And decent little promo from Zoe Stark. And then the match we all want to see. <coughs> this is the beefiest of the beefy boys. If you have a good nickname for what this uh, type of match should be with all these big beefy boys, please comment. Yes. Um, all right. Triton, Red Flame, Olaf, Ol and Red Monsoon. Olaf won this last time. Let's see if he can stay hot. Wow. No. Red Damn Monsoon. Back. Oh, but Flame and Ostrovsky <laughs> fighting over the hors d'oeuvres before the, the match. <laughs> Grips, good promo. Pop increases. And the Gertster, a little upset because he got left out of the big beefy match. Mm. But the Miss says, shut up. And beats his ass. Love Humpa that. says, love me. And then the main event can Rhea Ripley keep her belt or does she squander it in a triple threat match Ooh, keeps it she has been davenport and hartwell the rivalry grows which is good for me right over to ai raw yeah, damon Robbie. uso kicking it off with josh briggs feuding a lot in the tag scene they're fighting single style this time briggs Whoa. gets the victory a two and a half star match was acquired in the trade from WCW hey, last hey, week, hey, they didn't even use Becky Lynch this week. They have her cut a promo, though. Plus four pop for her in her new home. I miss her now, though. These two look like, not brothers, but like they would be cousins. Paragon J. Pierce, yeah, Austin Theory. Second cousins, or? Yeah, probably second. Boom. They'd be disappointed because they wish they were closer than they were. One and a half stars. Tag team call out. Tiffany Stratton, Neo Sky call out Charlotte and Natalia. Natalia's got to be pissed at her face just being covered by Peacock Feathers. Hey, kind of crazy. Makita Alliance continuing her feud with Asuka and continuing to lose to Asuka. Two and a half stars. Natalia comes out and says, hey, look at my face when Charlotte's stuff isn't in front of it. And one person clapped. And then the main event, new world champion Finn Balor against Julius Creed. Non-title, though. Julius Creed wins the non-title match in a three and a half star match. Wow. <coughs> Over to ECW, throw it up the U, Andre Chase, opening the night in a tables match with Kit Wilson. Those two got into a singles feud. Kit gets the win. Ooh, I thought that would do better than two stars. I don't think the ugh, that third match might top it. That did worse than I thought with the table step, but they do go up to level two. Sami Zayn. That pops. Said, hey. I, I need somebody new. I need somebody stronger, a bigger giant than Gunther. And I know there's one man in this industry that can answer the call. I'm calling out Die Jack. We got a little tag team action. Bianca Belair been feuding with Dakota Kai tonight. They team up to take on Nikki Cross at Chelsea Green. And they find a way to coexist, get the win in a two-star match, starting a tag feud, which I didn't need, but 
not going to be upset having extra right. fuse with that. Cool. Oh, no. The double. Oh, no. We didn't pop. Yikes. Swing and a miss. Dang. Dijak comes out to the ring. Thank God the first one worked. But he tried. we tried to double pop here. It didn't work. What I'm hoping here, again, is Dijak is through the pay-per-view, unless he's the one that gets hit by that power card. And... I'm hoping that I can have a feud blow off. So I need to get this to at least level three. So we might double promo them next week as well. Nathan Frazier, Ludwig Kaiser. This is the one that I think will do better in two stars now that I probably should have put in the opener. Nope, it does two stars as well. All my matches are just two stars and mediocre this week. But Ludwig <laughs> Kaiser gets the win. Dude, love comes out. Last week, he tried to bring in fans for charity. This week, he's selling t-shirts, baby. He's making the custom tie-dye t-shirts for everybody in the ring. You can also buy your own at ecwshop.com. And we raised $14,000. Main event, we had to have our most popular face and heel go against each other. That was Big E versus Shawn Michaels. Uh, we had them face one-on-one -on -one last week. So we decided to do a triple threat this week, make it a tables match as well to get progress on the tables match side of things. Logan Paul had more stamina than Dude Love, so he's in the match. And Shawn Michaels wins yet again. Four star main event. We'll take that. We needed that after some of the stuff earlier in the show. And over on SmackDown, their opener Extreme Rules Triple Threat Ladies Match titles not on the line. Tamita versus Alexa Bliss versus the one and only Piper Nevin. Got two Giants and a little cruiser. And Piper wins. That's going to be interesting. Mediocre, probably because Piper won. Huh. But that's fine. Uh, the Trick Williams, the Tricksters, they call out Ivar and Veer, and Veer just screams, as he always does. Anyways, and almost versus Apollo Crews, we have our rivalry here. Hopefully it pops. Our GM interviewing Xavier Woods is behind his new superstar. He's pushing him. It's the big push because we got that popularity boost from the shakeup over on almost if you missed the last episode. And our boy wins. Great Ooh. match. Maybe should either open with that or close with that, but the rivalry does grow. That's looking like a good rivalry there. Real Wish a title belt was on this, but maybe we quick, can. Canada, I do have a question for you. So you mentioned, yeah. you know, Omos getting a push in the last episode. Omos. He puts on a great match here. What would be a great way to, to keep up with all the GM mode action in your opinion? Uh, probably by liking the video and subscribing to the channel and absolutely being locked into the playlist because Cody does a great job of uploading that playlist and making sure it's up to date with the newest episode. And it's really convenient. I mean, you can look in the description and boom, playlist. Exactly. It's amazing. Liv Morgan comes out and says, hey, I lost my belt, but uh, I, I look cute, don't I? And everybody said, yeah. But one person said, yeah, actually. Mid-card, our fatal four-way. This is probably not going to be the greatest match as Chad Gable, Tyler Brate, and even Seth freaking Rollins has come since being stolen from ECW, kind of has fallen off into the back wing. Need to be using him more. Uh, need to be getting his popularity up. But let's see who wins this fatal four way. Tyler Brate wins a disappointing match, probably because he won. And nobody said, We said, Who are you? You've come out, you've advertised maybe once. Uh, Ivar says, Oh, gains no popularity. Everybody says that was horrible. Here it is the main event, which this matchup is going to determine what the stipulation at the pay-per-view is going to be. Is it going to be a, uh, I forget what Damian Priest's uh, spe specialty is. I think it was a tables match. Is it going to be a tables match or is it going to be a special guest referee match? One, two, and the bisexual Undertaker wins. It's not going to be a special guest referee. That is a level four uh, rivalry and is primed ready for the pay-per-view. Things we love to see. Very powerful show there. Show and close. On ECW this week, it was two-star Palooza for most of the night. Andre Chase falling to Kit Wilson in a tables match. Uh, Dakota Kai, Bianca Belair beating Nikki Cross, Chelsea Green, starting a tag rivalry there. Ludwig Kaiser takes down Nathan Frazier. Those were two stars as well. Main event, though, we did get four stars as Shawn Michaels wins the triple threat tables match uh, between himself, Big E, and Logan Paul. We tried to double pop on the callouts, but we got one of them to hit. The other did not. For SmackDown, two stars, the Extreme Rules Triple Threat, Piper Niven taking down Tamina and Alexa Bliss. Omos continues his push to oh, the boy. top of the card, taking down Apollo Crews. Three and a half stars for the Omos Sapiens. Tyler Bate wins the Fatal 4-Way after running from Dexter Loomis. 
and then three and a half stars in the main event <laughs> damian priest over kevin owens setting up tables match for the pay-per-view and then tag team call out rivalry level three for the tag feud there wcw the giant gets it done again fatal four action braun Strowman defeating Ricochet, <laughs> roman reigns and john <clears throat> the fish mm -hmm. <laughs> Rivalry up to level two for the Red Flame and Olaf Ostrovsky. <laughs> Despite that, Red Monsoon wins the Fatal 4-Way and Triton existed. The Miz, two stars, takes down Gunther McGirder. McGirder. And in the Gerd main event, e Rhea Ripley, two and a half stars, hangs on to her women's title over Indy Hartwell and Blair Davenport. And then for AI Raw, Damon Uso falls to Josh Briggs in a two and a half star opener. One and a half stars, Austin Theory over Paragon J. Pierce. Beginning a rivalry. Asuka over to Keto Lions, two and a half stars. Main event. It's a stale feud, but damn it, they don't care. Finn Balor falls to Julius Creed, three and a half stars. Tag team call out. Put the ladies tag at level two. Ladies. The ladies. WCW, 32,000 fans coming their way. $170,000. That. The glitch. That power card's nuts, man. <laughs> or the shakeup card, sorry. Raw side of things. They go 36,000 fans, so a lighter week for Raw from what we've seen recently, which we needed that for sure. $67,000 for them. Over on ECW, Dakota Kai and Bianca Belair make a good tag team. 44,000 fans coming my way. $71,000. And then for SmackDown, 38,000 fans. Man, we take it. $54,000. And Swiss chairman says, ha! How good can Omos be if he needs Xavier Woods to run in and Oh, well, excuse you, Swiss. What does the, the Swiss know about wrestling? Shots. WCW hey, hey. special promotion for the commissioner goal. I grab network special for the commissioner goal. These are the standings as we get ready to <laughs> wrap up this episode in a nice bow. Teddy Long up front. I'm 21,000 behind him. Cheek is 46,000 behind me. And then smackdown coming Less right up on those tails and only a thousand back so it's getting intense we got some emails here for oh no oh, no. oh get slapped don't be dijack don't be dijack be dijack be dijack be dijack wait. wait i might have hit enter it was like sitting there i might have hit enter when it advanced all right oh, i'll have no. to look is it dude love because it... oh it... he's saying it it, yeah, it's dude love because him and Shawn Michaels have the same length. So it hit yeah, the dudester. Yeah. Oh, the dudester out of ass. Yep, because Die Jacks at three weeks. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, we're going to start here. Read the emails. Uh, my time with the ECW, another five weeks for 128K. We're going to talk figures. I'm going to keep. He's going to decline this. I lowballed him the first time. <laughs> oh, man. Um. I'm still going to try it. I'm still going to try it. Okay. Ooh. I think what I'm going to do is let him finish his feud and probably let him walk. Um, mm. I just got to get him to the pay-per-view, though. It's going to be close. All right, Duke Hudson. Probably where Elton Prince would give me nothing but problems. I had to dig my bag out of the trash today. I've had enough of his disrespect. I want to sell things in the ring with him. Uh... Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Instant rivalry. Also, this is a new one too. So, I'll see if I can show it here. Uh, if you look there, Duke Hudson. Literally, when it says instant rivalry, it created the rivalry. So, you basically get to start a level one feud off of that email, without having to do like a match or anything. And then Ludwig Kaiser wants a world title shot within three weeks. I think I'm gonna give him the shot. We need to raise some around. Need to get people feeling good, and then we'll hope to get a fixed match card in there. And if I don't get a fixed match card in there, Ludwig Kaiser may be taking over ECW. We'll have to see. But we are gonna back out to the mini here. Oh man, that budget's low. That budget's low. And bring you guys back here as we wrap up this episode here. So very, very crazy episode, honestly. Canada gets, in my opinion, maybe the best power card you can get in terms of a big impact signing. Cheek gets a shakeup card that's allowing him to build his bank. This is getting intense in a hurry. We, we're already through 
and getting ready to book week week eight. I feel like it's it's flying by. Candel, I'll go to you. You know, big signing of Hulk Hogan. Obviously, he's going to be gone, I think, one more week, and then you'll be able to utilize him. But building that momentum back off the pay-per-view, putting up some good numbers, how are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. I think the Hulksters is going to be ready for the pay-per-view if my numbers are correct. Uh, we sit uh, less than 1,000 fans behind Cheek. Uh, we are in fourth place, but again, less than 1,000 fans feels pretty good. Although both me and Cheek are about uh almost well we're we're, we're 70,000 fans ish uh behind raw and uh, you are 20,000 behind him so that's raw's kind of running away i might have to kind of put my focus towards teddy theodore long over there uh but other than that i'm feeling pretty good yeah no i i think you're climbing up pretty well and then cheek you know we <laughs> we see the the shake up cards how much we always get excited to see them you know, you get a huge shakeup card that's allowing you to really set your money up well. Um, you know, what's kind of your thoughts getting these next few shows out, getting ready for this next pay-per-view? Oh, I'm going to continue to try to um, beef my game up, if you will. So if you liked what you saw this video, make sure you subscribe and follow. Make sure you're following that playlist because the next video you see there could be even more beef in the ring. Beep, I'll leave beep. it at that. Could be some big beefy women. Ooh. Yeah, think wow. about that. I got that power card for a few more weeks. If I go to the women's side, maybe squeeze a little more money out of this deal. So just something to think about. Follow along and watch for the big beef at WCW. And I like that as well because we, you know, I, I said I'll put the incentive out there. At the time of recording, we're just short of 500 subscribers of the channel. Thank you guys for that. All three of us have been super exciting, uh, super excited watching it all happen. Uh, but we're going to go crazy incentive. So you got this episode. There's going to be another episode before the pay-per-view. And if you guys get us to 600 subscribers before we record that pay-per-view watch along, I'm going to let Cheek have two spectated Please. matches so Please. we can watch the big beef along with everything else. And I'm going to tell you right now, Whoa. Cheek wants to watch the extra match. And if you were to look into his blue eyes, I promise you, you would cave, subscribe to the channel, and let him have it. So just have it. We are like Arby's. We have the meats. Oh, you know what? That should be sponsored. It's the Meat Mountain sponsored uh, Fatal 4-Way. Yeah, I think... Yeah, Meat I definitely Mountain. think we, I'll... Uh, I'll head to my local Arby's and let them know what's going on. You know, be like, hey, we're on the come up. Help us out. You should see what WCW is doing. It's pretty powerful. And on my side, I feel I feel decent. I, I think I'm making ground on Teddy. Um, obviously, I still feel quite a ways away. Um, but I'm getting there gradually. Uh, he finally had an off show. So hoping these next couple weeks, the position I'm in right now is I've got a lot of level three feuds um, and a couple level fours. So just try to put myself in position where no matter what potential power cards get used against me at the pay-per-view, hopefully we're popping off three or four rivalries at the second pay-per-view. And then after the fact, I can unlock steel cage matches, knock some uh, rivalries out on the weekly shows and kind of use that to kind of reset things, get a lot of boost, get a lot of progress. So feel pretty good here as well. And again, as we wrap it up, thank you guys so much for all the new love and everything coming in. Uh, we super appreciate it. We we have a blast doing this regardless, so it's cool to see uh, you guys and gals enjoying. Look, there's literally 1%. There was like 1% that was female watching. It's pretty cool. So to you 1%, if you hear me right now, thank you. Way to stand out in a crowd. But until the next video, I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Teddy Long can suck eggs. Toodles. Bye.